All right, we're continuing to talk about all that heavy rainfall over the past 24 to 48 hours that led to a lot of streets being flooded out. This is a picture from the Delaware County Emergency Management tweeted this out yesterday afternoon in Muncie where we had vehicles that were actually starting to get stranded because that water level continued to rise in that zone there. Water standing on streets in Elwood. This picture from Anita Glaze that was sent on Twitter yesterday afternoon. And then we've got this picture from Anderson. We're not only streets, but we're starting to see fields being flooded out and of course all of that running off into our local waterways. That is why not only do we have a flood warning that is ongoing for portions of uh, Delaware Madison over into Tipton and northern uh, portions of Hamilton County, but also the White River. We've got an ongoing flood warning there as those levels are really starting to rise. We went from near record low numbers to nearing in on those flooding conditions, and that means uh, that warning will go be ongoing for the next really couple of days here until we can see how high the levels are going to get. The rain has moved out of that area right now. Still tracking a few of these scattered showers moving out of the southern tier of the state. Greensburg getting in on the last little bit of some rain as that system's going to continue to push out to the southeast. From Hope, Indiana down to Columbus, some heavier downpours will extend down that to 65 corridor. And some heavy rain still falling near Bedford, but you can see we are kind of on the tail end of that. Give it a couple of hours, and I do anticipate most of this rain clearing the state, especially as we get into the mid-morning. All of that moisture, though, has certainly led to some low-lying clouds developing and that is reducing visibility. So some areas of patchy fog certainly going to be the case this morning. Here's a live look over downtown where we have some of that low lying cloud cover certainly creating those hazy conditions. We're at 68 now, 66 your dew point temperature. It will become more muggy as the day goes on, but it does look like we're going to dry things out. 72 by the 10 o'clock hour by two today. We're up near 80 and then with highs today in the mid 80s, this will be the coolest day of the week. We're looking at high temperatures rebounding back into the 90s and those triple digit heat indices that will become an issue later this week. There goes the rain. We'll pause here as we get closer to the lunch hour as the sky will start to clear. Temperatures recover back into those low to mid 80s as we look ahead at this afternoon as we bring back more sunshine. Now as we get into the latter part of our evening, this particular weather model picks up on perhaps another stray pop up developing, but I believe most of this will continue to exit out and we uh, see limited rain chances as the day plays on. Tomorrow we bring back the sunshine and the heat nearing 90 for a high for your Tuesday. Wednesday though is when we're really going to start to be dealing with the more dangerous setup as far as the heat goes. 95 your forecast high on Wednesday, but it's those heat indices that are going to climb between 100 and 105 and even some spots a little hotter than that during your Wednesday afternoon. And we're going to keep that heat streak going into the latter part of our work week and into next weekend. 94 on Friday nearing 97 with heat indices up to 105 next Saturday and Sunday feeling that stretch of those uh, very uncomfortable temperatures over the next several days.